A lot of big things we gotta take care of today. So the first thing is this has a major transmission fluid leak that we needed to fix today. She lives. As you can see down below here, we are losing transmission fluid at a rapid rate. Therefore, it is not wanting to shift gears anymore. There is a transmission line right there, okay? And if you look real closely up there, up in the middle there, you can see back there where that control arm is touching right next to the oil pan. You can see the oil dripping off. See the line smashed up in there, it's dripping. So what I'm thinking about doing is cutting the lines right here and then cutting them down on the other side of where it's cut, right there in the line. And then basically running hose kind of like this, um, just kind of running two hoses from here down to there. Why? I've done it on a truck before, not a giveaway truck. It was a two wheel drive version that I used just to basically abuse and then I sold it off super cheap to somebody a long time ago. But anyways, I've done it before and it worked well. It did still leak a little bit, but it, it wasn't spraying like it is now. Like if, like that's from like five seconds of running in the shop. It might still leak a little bit, but it's not gonna be that bad. That's what we're gonna do so we can at least use it on the trails. Guys, we are in the silver 24 valve. It's got brand new paint. It's got some paint matching stuff. Let's just say I think you guys are gonna absolutely love it. We also got the lift kit coming in in two days now. I got the confirmation from the manufacturer and we've also got the wheels and tires at the house. So this thing is about to get buttoned up and it's gonna look freaking amazing. Let's get back to the house and show you this new paint job. Well guys, here is the truck and it looks so freaking good. Miguel, you knocked it out of the park again. He always does such a good job and he had this thing done in eight days. He did full paint in eight days. So let's show you everything that he did because it, it turned out so good. So when we dropped this truck off originally, what I was gonna have him do is just obviously repaint the new hood inside and out and color match the grill. But what he actually ended up doing was a lot more than that. When he looked over the truck, he said, hey, it looks like a nice truck, but here's what I would recommend. He's like, I would just recommend that you repaint the entire truck, and here's why. The truck got some bad paint chips along the bottom half, and I was gonna see if there was any way he could basically take it from the body line right there all the way around and down and just fix all the paint chips and stuff that were down low. He said he could do that, but I might as well just redo all the paint because the paint that was on the truck was just cheap paint. Apparently, he's like, yeah, you can just, you can feel the difference in a quality paint job, but I'm like, you can feel it? He's like, yeah, you can literally feel the difference in paint quality when you run your hand down the side of the paint. And like, it, I, I don't understand it. I haven't done paint and body work, you know, for 25 years. So I, I guess I wouldn't understand that. But he's like, if it were me, I would redo the whole truck. He's like, I'll do it for the best deal that I can give you better than I can give most people just because he knows how much stuff I bring him. But he's like, I'll give it to you for this deal. But he's like, I, I just want you to be happy. And I want whoever ends up with this truck to be happy as well. So he went ahead and did the whole truck. So he did the whole truck with new paint. You can see the quality difference in the paint. Just when you get up closer, you can see all the glittery shine, like it looks so good. So not only did he do the hood, he did the entire thing and it looks really good. There's a little bit of like salt, like salt watery, snowy, nasty stuff on the windshield. It just looks, it looks awesome. So. We're gonna start with the grill. So you can see the grill. This is actually the original grill that was on the truck. He took the grill that was off of the uh, original hood that was on this thing and he transferred it over to the new hood and paint matched it. It looks super, super good. He took the fenders, obviously new paint, new paint on the hood, on the underside. He did the tow mirrors that we had for the truck. He got the new tow mirrors put on and not only did he put them on, but he paint matched them as well and they look really really great i mean they turned out awesome he does of course have the power all wired up in there so everything works like it should the power mirrors work he went ahead and paint matched the door handles for me i asked him if he could do that he said absolutely so the door handles are paint matched as well and i think that just really it really does complement it in a nice way for the look we're going with other than like the ice and some of the ice and dirt down here he did repaint everything i mean even the cab you can see how shiny and glittery the metallic silver paint is right there on the cab I mean, it looks so freaking good he redid obviously the rockers and the bedsides and everything I mean, it's all redone 
and it turned out so good look how shiny that is I mean I don't know if the camera's doing it justice but it's like I mean it's like glittery it looks so good he did also strip down the chrome bumper that had like this coating on it was like this weird I don't even know it was like this weird coating of like I want to say Plasti dip like a black Plasti dip or something like over the rear bumper he got rid of that and he actually paint matched that as well and it turned out really really exceptional as well you can see how nice that bumper turned out looks really good let me take you around to the other side I should have had him do the stinking tailgate totally forgot <laughs> totally forgot to point that out anyway so everything turned out really really well I mean it looks absolutely great so now, of course, the next steps is going to be getting the lift kit put on the truck, deleting the body lift, and getting the new wheels and tires on this thing. And it's going to be almost done after that. At least appearance-wise, it'll be where we want it. So we got the wheels and tires actually loaded up for this thing, and we're on our way to drop those off for mounting and balancing. What we also have to do is pick up some new transmission lines and transmission fluid lines so that we can get that Jeep back on the trail with fluid actually flowing to and from the transmission and not just dumping on the ground so we're gonna get these dropped off then we're gonna get back and hopefully we can swap out the lines on that Jeep real quick we got the transmission fluid and we've got lines which are actually rated for transmission fluid and they do fit Perfectly like they're super super freaking snug like you're they said that you're gonna have to use a little bit of Lubricant on the inner part of that or on the um, actual piping that I cut off um, To slide it on there because it's such a tight fit, but that's what I want and then I've also got some basic little clamps here and uh, We should be good to go. So real quick. I'm gonna show you what I actually decided to do on this So we started out with an end that looked about like that except it was a little bit longer on this other one and then we took this hose and then we slid it up on there and then we put a clamp on there the actual end on this came out to about here so we slid it up all the way over there took the little impact gun tightened this little clamp on there and that's basically how we're going to have this hose ran on there now for the trans fluids it's a trail vehicle so i'm gonna not spend tons of time replacing solid lines i'm gonna feed this up through the brackets are already there holding on the metal one in place and see if it holds it out of the way enough. If it doesn't, then I'll just readjust with some zip ties, of course, because zip ties fix everything. Well, we've almost got the Jeep done. I'm just working on fluids, and I was gonna do more of a video of that thing, actually driving it around today, and checking under it, and making sure with all this nice fresh snow, there's no transmission leak still, which I'm gonna try to do here in a bit. But I'm about to lose all of my lighting, so I'm gonna end this video out here with good lighting in the truck. Guys, 10X entries are still here right now, but they end on January 25th. So if you want 10 times the entries towards winning this truck, 10X entries end on January 25th and it's over. All you do, if you want to enter to win this truck, plus $5,000 cash, that's getting all the build stuff done to it and everything else. All you gotta do is go to lmpgear.com, and every $1 you spend right now gets you 10 entries towards winning this truck, plus the $5,000 cash, and we'll even throw in a free dog if you want it. I don't know, if you like noisy dogs, he's yours. All jokes aside, if you want to enter to win this truck, there's no better time. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Place those orders, get in while you can. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button, leave a like on the video, comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts were on today's video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.